Hey everyone, it's Natalie the Purse Nurse here and in today's video I'm going to share with you the five handbags and or luxury items that are on my radar for when I visit Mexico in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be taking a trip um, to Mexico and I have some favorite places and essays that I like to visit when I go. So I figured I would share with you the five items that are kind of on my radar that I would like to see when I'm there. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, stay tuned and we will jump right into it. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning into my video this week and I figured that I would share with you guys my five handbags or luxe items that I'm interested in taking a gander at when I visit Mexico on a um, scheduled vacation in the next couple of weeks. So I have some notes here in my little Hobonichi notebook and I obviously don't have the items here because I don't own them. So I'll try to purchase, um, excuse me, place pictures or photos or a video of the item here or some sort of screenshot so you can see what I'm speaking of. So number one on my list is the YSL shopping tote that's been all over you know, Instagram and social media. It's the large shopping tote. And I'm, again, I'll insert a photo here. And I know it comes in gold hardware and it comes in silver hardware and it's in like a soft lambskin leather. And this handbag intrigues me or tote tr intrigues me because it's all leather. It is of course less expensive than Chanel, but nevertheless, it is still expensive. And I like a good tote for traveling and I like the look of the YSL, I like the look of it. Um, versus the Chanel Deauville or um, a handbag or tote of that nature. So that is the first in, uh, handbag that I'm used to, um, excuse me, on my radar to look for. Number two, while I'm at the YSL store, I am going to also take a look at, and I have almost purchased this handbag a couple of times. It's the small Nikki handbag, and I'm looking at this handbag in like the gray. I can't think of the name of the color of the gray, but I'm really after a gray handbag, and this may be something that's probably at the top, toward the top of my list. So I'm going to try on this handbag again, and um, I originally almost purchased it a couple of years ago before it was over $2,000. Now it's over $2,000. Again, I'm not saying I'm going to purchase it, but I do like the style and the slouchiness and the kind of rocker vibe look of this handbag. So that's number two on the list. The next store that I'm going to go to will be Gucci. And um, with Gucci, I'm looking at the, I want to say it's either mini or super mini Aphidia bag in like the grayish black. They have like a, it looks like gray and black. Um, it's a mini bag, and I, again, have almost purchased this handbag a couple of times, so I am interested in looking at this one. The next one is the Gucci key pouch. It's like a little pouch, but it's not flat. It's kind of kind of oblong, and you've seen this one a lot on social media. I know Minx um, uh, Mini has this, this little key pouch, and a couple other people um, have this, this little pouch. And I'm going to see if I can view it and see exactly what it fits. I know it fits like a lipstick and some cards. And I love me a good pouch. So I want to look at that. So that will be my YSL and my Gucci um, store. The next store that I'm going to go to is Louis Vuitton. And there is seriously nothing on my radar from Louis Vuitton right now. There's nothing that's really piquing my interest except for one handbag and... Mexico may get this bag sooner than other places and that is the um, the Louis Vuitton Pochette East West bag and yes I just shot a video and I'll link it below regarding my love slash hate uh, I don't like to use the word hate that's a strong word my love slash dislike for that for the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse but this one is smaller and more oblong and it's got a gold chain so I think the price of it is kind of outrageous, but if I can get to see it and put my hands on it and see what I feel about it, that might be something maybe that I might be interested in purchasing. So again, that's on my radar. The very last handbag, and this is going to be a number five as a bonus, is I'm going to take a little walk into the Hermes store. I always go into Hermes in Cancun. And they have a very limited supply of handbags. Um, the 
store does get shot frequently and um, I do have an essay there and I do keep in contact with her and I, uh, with her and him I have two actually and we shall see what they may have there at the time that I visit but they really don't hold handbags they have had things and they've had to let them go because you actually have to be there to get the handbag they will not ship from Mexico you have to know someone in Mexico that can ship it to you because they will not ship to US so I might look and see what they have um, I don't I'm not really a Kelly or Birkin girl but for the value and for the investment if someone offered it to me I'm not gonna say no I never say never or no or never say no that is not um, handbags that are on my um, radar like when I go to Hermes in Atlanta or what have you that's not something that's on my radar that's not top priority for me but you never know um, so all the stores that I will be looking at and going to are located in downtown um, Cancun Mexico and I do have essays for the majority of these stores um, I have shopped at all the stores here and I think if you guys are interested what I'll do is I will obviously do a video on where I went and what I possibly purchased, but maybe why you should purchase at the, maybe why you should travel to Mexico and purchase a handbag there. So that's all that I have for you today. As always, please share my channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. Please check me out on my Instagram. I don't post there a lot, a lot, but please check out my Instagram page as well. And then all, and as always, be kind. Thank you, everyone.